Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Fox 17 Rock and Review, I'm so thrilled to have on three incredible lead singers and musicians uh, known as the front men, but also they are the front men for their individual bands. You've got Tim Rushlow doing so many big band stuff here in Nashville, just sounded great. Larry Stewart, Restless Heart, and then obviously Richie McDonald with Lone Star. And uh, guys, it's great to have you on the show. Great to Thank meet you. you. Thanks for having me. It, it's yeah. tough to work out your schedules. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know how many people you have working on that. If there's like a big map and a calendar and everything, but it's like between doing the front man and then your individual stuff, you know, and, and everything. You've done this last year, Tim, with the big band stuff here in town. Right. Obviously, 35th anniversary for Restless Heart, 25th for Lone Star. You guys got a few things going on and a new single out. We do. Dang, that sounds busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even mention the 30 million records sold that we were talking about in the news earlier, and then also 50 top 40 hits. Is that right? I don't know. 30 number one. Right. Yeah. Did I see that over there? Yeah, somewhere? I think so. I think, it, yeah, yeah. It's like Did it's, you Google it's, us? It's, it's in my whole file. I got a file on you, Richie. <laughs> yeah, I do. Google me. I yeah. love that. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You know, it is what it is. I mean, we. Um, it's really interesting that we, um, there's a common thread that just, flows through the three bands that we've represented over the years and having these guys have anniversary years with their bands and still touring really hard um, there's not a lot of time for frontman shows so when we get time for one it's special you right. know and um, that was kind of how the whole the single happened we weren't really planning on recording anything we just finally heard a song and we sent it around and everybody went wow this is a song that's really special we should take a shot at this and just see what happens with it just for fun you know and, and as a, a a cool side project and um i think we're at the age in our life where we can do that you know and um, it just felt like the natural thing to happen and larry pointed out um when he heard the song that it touched him because it's like well, i have a career all these years because radio chose to play my music what a what a great way to say thank you back to them for giving us a shot you know if it wasn't for the radio we wouldn't be here so well you know and, and like we were talking earlier too on the news tim to where the, the song each of you vocally obviously knowing your songs and i told you before we came down to the studio that i wanted to apologize to each of you for butchering all three of your songs <laughs> in cover bands i've played with over the years but you know all three of your voices are so strong and unique and there's really there's room for them i mean you know it's uh you guys are being held as as you know like a, a country mega group but to me, you're kind of like our 90s country, almost like the Eagles, to where your voices blend very nicely. And, and plus, like we were talking about too, Tim, with what you guys are doing with the shows, you're kind of stripping it down musically, right? You're not doing like the full band stuff. Well, it's um, stories behind the songs. Um, it's, it's almost a songwritery thing. We also bring a guy by the name of Donnie Reese with us. He is, mm -hmm. he is a world-class violinist, but he's also um, an Army combat veteran. And uh, so he awesome. really adds a lot to our show, and um, you know, and, and you know, when the fans come to the show, that's why we kept doing it. They'd go, "Oh my gosh!" Just the intimacy, the stories. This is like one of my favorite concerts we've ever been to, and we'd all look at each other. And go, well, maybe we need to keep doing it. So, um, seven or eight years later, uh, we're still having fun. So essentially, a Nashville instant success then, from the seven or eight years. Uh, and yeah, so, and so I get overnight. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Took me a minute. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, overnight over eight years, right? Yeah, yeah. And but I, you know, it was so cool watching some of the videos too, and watching Richie play. But you guys look like just friends hanging out on stage, playing music. Oh no, that's, that's the not way the it comes case. across. It, it is. I mean, I mean, there's a. We know when there's a time to be serious, and we know when, when we just cut up with one another, and it's probably more cutting up with one another than being serious. But, you know. Um, and I always tell this at Larry, I always say, um, you know, like Blue Styles in Texas, my, my, that's my favorite song. I grew up on your music. <laughs> and uh, we're just trying to make him feel like the old guy. But you know what? Um, we all came a along at a really great time in country music, mm -hmm. you know, when we had these hits and, and uh, you know, Rest His Heart kind of opened the doors for, you know, the bands to follow. And uh, it's really cool that the three of us can come together um, and then create this really uh, unique sound. I mean, when I first heard, uh, if it wasn't for the radio, after we recorded it, just to hear our vocal blend, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, I know we all come from vocal groups, but I'm honored and proud to say that, that um, you know, when I'm singing my verse on the sing, you know, on mm -hmm. if it wasn't for the radio, that Tim and Larry are singing harmony with me and vice versa. So it's, uh, it's a pretty neat thing. It's, I it's remember really when these guys came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he goes, great, just what we need. <laughs> Another band. I know. I did. And then, and then Little Texas came out, and we hated them because they had better mullets than we had. <laughs> <laughs> and we and we idolized Russell's heart, and so did yeah. Lone Star. Yeah. You know, we we were. Uh, I mean, before we had our record deal, we used to cover their songs in clubs, and so and that was the highlight of our night because we could identify with that. Sort of mm -hmm. like singing an Eagles song. You right. know, it's just one of those groups you go, wow. And so it's always been a real neat thing to be. I mean, I almost wish I could not be me and watch the show, but yeah. I always know after the show whether we're playing for the troops overseas or doing a a corporate event or or maybe a casino if we have a date open, we all three can do a show right. on. Crowds come up afterwards like, oh man, I'd pay to see any one of you guys, but to see all three of you here and to hear the stories behind the songs and for it to be kind of an intimate, broken down set and not be that full blown production, right. which is what they do with their bands on tour. It's the polar opposite of that. You know, oh. it's, a, it's an intimate experience, and to hear them evoke the emotion of that back to us and tell us how special it was for them. That's why we know that it's it's something we can carve out a little bit of time on our calendar for and have fun doing it, and yeah. uh, and, it and it's a blessing to us too. Well, you know, and, and where can viewers actually buy the single then? Because uh, the single came out in January. It's getting a lot of radio play. Where is the best place for them to find it, buy it, own it? Turtles. Yeah. Turtles Record Store. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Go down to Ernest Tubbs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, he said it right. iTunes. Just okay. Amazon. Amazon gotcha. and iTunes. We worried about the single. And then uh, are you guys toying with doing a full album possibly? Yes. We're yeah. toying with it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, well, really, we'll see. You know, we're yeah. talking about it. We really are, and uh, you know, we'll see what the single does and see how it feels. And but uh, yeah, we're, everything's open. Well, then let's talk also, Larry. While I've got you, what are you doing with the 35th anniversary? Well, we're, rolling out this year? we're we're rolling out a tour again. We'll probably do about 70 shows. Um, then <laughs> I'm actually recorded a, a solo album myself. I just, just finished it. So, wow. so I'm getting ready to... When's that going to release? Well, we're trying to figure that out. I'm, this is the first time I've ever mentioned it. There we go. Right here. And so can they check your website? Right here with Eric Dahl. <laughs> Stealth. Yes. Wow. So, so um, yeah, I don't know what the timing looks like right now. Okay. But, uh, but between that, Restless Heart touring, original five guys. Right. I figure that out. Just amazing. I mean, we... I remember when I came uh, down, uh, came in from Missouri and interviewed you guys in the 80s before you were going to play the SEMO District Fair. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Because it was like a big deal that we were getting Restless Heart into Cape Girardeau. Wow. And so we flew in on this little airplane to interview you guys. Wow. So a few days ago. Eric, I don't remember. No, exactly. <laughs> well, I can tell you, they, they have always been great studio players and great live players. I saw them here in Nashville this last year, and it sounded like they just got together for the first time. They sounded great. And um, Lone Star is all original members, and they're out there killing it. And, and Rich, Richie's fronting that, and those guys are just... Uh, a night of hits. I mean, you right. can't go wrong with that, you know. I think it's interesting that both these bands, their calendars have just totally picked up. I think people really, not that they never were doing great, it's just that they're picked up to a level because people are really interested in the real music from the 90s now. I agree. And I think it's really a, a, a nod to these guys and their bands that people are wanting to flock to go see that show mm -hmm. because that, that is the soundtrack of their life. You know, amazed, I'm already there, front porch looking in, blue size in Texas, I'll still be loving you. I should be your press agent. Well, yeah, my, yeah, exactly. Well, my again, God yeah. bless Texas, <laughs> yeah, right. and the list goes on and on. It, yeah. it does. It's, it's but, a, but there's so many great hits, and like you were saying too, Tim, I think that, that all of us, you know, viewers and listeners, can assign certain moments in time with those songs that you guys did, you yeah. know, and, and where we were at and what our life was like, and, and those are good memories usually. I think that's the cool thing about being where we are in our career now, you know, 25, 30 years later, is we do get the opportunity more so now to, to hear from the, you know, social media, to hear from the fans. Right. And the great stories, of, you know, like you know, from the love songs for me, you know, I'll Still Be Loving You, the great stories I've heard from that song over the years. And, and I didn't really know when I was young how powerful a song was to people. Right. And mm, now I'm good. learning more that, uh, I mean, it really affects people's hearts and lives, and, and they want to tell you about it. It's really cool. Well, I think it's incredible you guys are still doing that with your individual bands and with the front men, and I love the single. Uh, if it wasn't for the radio, be sure and download it on iTunes, buy it. Go see these guys, whether you're going to see them with the front men, uh, you know, together, or with their individual bands. You know, you've got Lone Star, you've got Restless Art, you've got Tim Rushlow doing his great stuff with his big band. Um, I just think it's incredible, and I got to tell you, as a as a musician, certainly not to your guys' level, but it's great to see you guys out there still performing and singing and playing at the level that you do, and and bringing it just like you did back in the '90s. 
Well, thank you. Well, thank you, man. And, and I think that uh, anybody that goes out and, and sees you guys live is just going to be really wowed by the show. Although I really like the front men thing with the stories. I, I like the stories. I like the whole Thanks. angle. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to coming out and seeing that show myself. Oh, right. you're going to sing with us. Remember. <laughs> I'll gonna, be tuning in and carrying the guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be butchering it behind you, right? <laughs> the front men. Be sure and catch them live. Once again, Tim Rushlow, Larry Stewart, Richie McDonald. Incredible song. If it wasn't for the radio, buy it and see these guys on tour. Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rock and Review. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.